let's talk about hepatitis. When I talk about hepatitis, hepata means liver, that's liver there, itis inflammation. And when we're talking about hepatitis, we're typically talking about a virus, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So, uh, there are five types of viral hepatitis, A through E. We're just going to talk about the first three because they're the most uh, prominent that we will be discussing. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, type A is a virus that is sped fecal oral route. Uh, I put gastro here. Um, contamination if you're not washing your hands in a patient's room and then you get it into your mouth and it's in your GI system. Um, or if you're overseas and you're somewhere where they don't have, uh, uh, where there's the water and food is contaminated, and then you can catch it then. Okay, so okay. risk factors would be food and water that's contaminated. Um, luckily, though, there's a vaccine for it. Okay, hepatitis B and C are both bloodborne, and so they're spread with uh, unsafe use of IVs or needle sticks with uh, nurses or nursing students, uh, or spread through sex. And um, Hep B, there's no meds, it's supportive, and it can be chronic, or it can go away on its own, depending on the body. Hep C here, uh, there are medications that are very expensive, though, and so typically, when you see a patient that's Hep C, they've probably had it for a long time, and they're probably going to have it maybe the rest of their lives. So what are some signs and symptoms of hepatitis? Well, at this point, we're talking about hepatitis. We're not talking about cirrhosis. Well, that will be in my next video, and that's a little bit more, um, more damage to the liver, but this is just... They just got it. What are some things we can expect? Well, like cirrhosis, we can expect to see some labs thrown off from the kidney or from, from the liver. Okay, uh, We'll see elevated ALT, ASC, and ALP. But all three of these have to do with the liver's function. And when they're elevated, that's a bad sign that the liver has had some damage. You also see elevated bilirubin. So the liver, like the kidney, has filtration filtration properties and so it's unable to effectively um, it ends up in elevated bilirubin in the bloodstream and this you can see jaundice which is the yelling of the skin and yelling of the eyes okay uh, and that jaundice can also cause itchiness okay um, you can see dark urine so there's going to be excess amounts of bilirubin uh, in the urine and the urine will be very dark it may be Dr. Pepper dark okay and your stool is going to change to a clay color. So these are just three things that you'll see. You'll, you'll probably see these again in my cirrhosis video, okay? But this is not so bad. They don't have all the other things which I'll talk about with cirrhosis. This is just the basis of it. Now, how do you know? Diagnosis, well, they come in, they have these problems going on, and you check the blood, and you see, you know, they have the hepatitis virus in their bloodstream, okay? Um, they may want to see how bad it is, see have they progressed to cirrhosis yet, have they progressed to liver cancer, liver failure. They may do a biopsy, in which case they will uh, go in and take out a sample and examine the, the, the tissues. Treatment, uh, I told you here there is medicines of hep C, of B, you just got to be supportive. And so some things you want to do at this point, if the liver's not functioning 100%, maybe they'll have it for life or have it for a while low protein diet because the liver assists with protein um, I don't want to say absorption or breakdown but maybe breakdown and control the things that it produces okay and uh, that definitely is important when we talk about cirrhosis and ammonia levels well so you want to avoid alcohol because alcohol damages the liver well it's already damaged by hepatitis you don't want to hurt it with alcohol as well as avoid hepatotoxic medications so um, Tylenol for example you want to make sure that there, you educate the patient not to take a bunch of time when they go home, that the doctor will evaluate how bad is their liver now and how much more of these medicines can they have. Now, this is just touching the surface of hepatitis. Really, what you'll see bad of hepatitis is when it progresses to cirrhosis. So, go ahead. It's going to be next one on the playlist or it will be in the description. And let's take a look at cirrhosis now.